So let me show you guys how to copy files securely from one Linux computer to another. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, sorry, it has been a minute since I've uploaded a video. And this was due to me getting sick earlier this week. Uh, and so I haven't been putting up many videos. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm feeling a little better. And I want to start off with uh, something that I wanted to cover a while back. And that is secure copy. And there are a number of ways of doing things in the Linux operating system. Typically, when I copy files, even remotely, I typically use an application called Orsync which you can see a video on my channel detailing how to actually use the rsync command and this allows you to copy files in directories you know everything uh from one computer to another computer and i never did a video showing people how to use scp which is another great option it also uses ssh similar to rsync rsync uses ssh when you're copying remotely SCP uses SSH as well, the protocol, uh, which means that whatever you're copying is encrypted as it's going over the network. Uh, so you can uh, move files from one computer, let's say on your home network to a cloud server that you have set up and it's secure. It's totally secure. Uh, it's encrypted. You know, it uses SSH which is essentially a secure shell. That's essentially what it's called. Uh, and I'm sure if you've been using Linux for a little while, you know exactly what SSH is. So let's just go down and hop over and I'll show you guys how to use secure copy. So let's get to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Okay, cool. So I am on my personal computer, which is using Arch Linux and SCP comes pre-installed on pretty much all Linux distributions. So um, let's go on and just hop to the man page for it. Uh, and all you have to do is type man and then SCP and press enter. And as you can see, it says open SSH secure file copy. And this is, like I said, this is an awesome tool. It's something that you should know as a Linux user, because this will definitely help you guys copy files back and forth between multiple uh, network computers. You know, it can even be like a cloud server, like I stated earlier. Just to read the description, it says SCP copies files between hosts on a network and the, the synopsis is above you do have a couple options you know for it uh and let's just scroll down and look at them uh it's a couple of them down here um that you may want to look into a uh, using that specific ssh config um identity files the destination uh you can limit your bandwidth uh, it's, it's a whole bunch of little options in here. And then you also have SSH options, uh, dash O and here are some of the uh, SSH options. You can modify that as well. Uh, ports, you can use a specific port. So if a server is set up to use a specific port for SSH, then you want to specify that port. Uh, so that's a good option as well. And then dash or copy between two remote hosts or perform by connecting to the original host and executing SS SCP there. So that, and then also the lowercase or for recursive. So it'll copy the entire directory, uh, as well as subdirectories uh, within the tree. So that option is there as well. And like I said, it has a whole bunch of options. Uh, I'll go through a few just to show you guys how to quickly use it. Uh, but it's it's an awesome tool. So let's go down and quit and go through a couple of the commands. I have some test uh, directories that I'll copy up to a cloud server, just showing you guys how to actually use it. So let's quit here. 
and go down and clear the screen and that way we can show you guys how to actually copy this stuff okay cool so uh i have a couple of test files that i want to play around with so let's go into this test directory that i have on my system boom and then let's ls this directory because i have a whole bunch of files in here and what i'm looking for is that file.csv let's say i want to move this to a specific server uh on my network uh and this will work exactly the same if you're you know uh connecting it to a network outside or a server that's on a separate network outside of your network this same command will work and i'll just kind of break it down and show it to you guys but let's say we want to copy that file.csv and we want to put it on a server on our network and i have a server that's running ubuntu 22.04 and we're going to use the scp command and then what you want to do is specify the file you want to copy first so file dot csv you specify that actual file now you want to specify the location you want to send it to so it's always the file you're trying to send and then where you're trying to send it to so the destination is essentially the next thing and what you have to do is know what the ip address is or if you have you know the names uh set up you know dns then you can just type the name out and it'll automatically your local dns will uh, handle the naming and divert the file directly to the location that you want it or the server or the ip address that you're trying to send to but in this case i automatically know the i already know the ip address so it's 192.168.10.55 and then what you want to put after the IP address is a colon and basically this is saying uh, you're gonna use this same name because typically you know when you connect to somewhere at using SSH um, whenever you type just the IP address it automatically assumes that you're using your login name here so you have an account with the same name now if you don't have an account with the same name uh, then you want to put the user account for that that user on that specific server so let's say it's user uh at you know that server name so you have to specify it but since it's the same and i have that same account over on the same server then i don't have to type in or specify a username now you want to specify the location and so it's always starts off with root and root is that for slash that is the root directory of the server now on this server i do have a home directory so under home and then josh which is my account directory or my home directory for that account of josh on that server and so let's oh that's pretty much it we don't have to do anything we want to put it within that directory which is josh so you put that four slash in there that'll specify that you're copying that file to that directory of josh so let's go down and press enter and see if this works and what it's going to do is connect via ssh which is why it's asking me for a password uh, so that's simply what it looks like when you connect to something via ssh and i've connected to this server before so it didn't ask me you know the fingerprint information and all that stuff uh, so you don't have to worry about that and I think I typed my password in wrong, so let's fix that. But let's press enter. Boom, after typing it right, and as you can see, it gives you a status of how long it took to actually copy that thing. It only took like zero seconds, but it transferred that file successfully. You got 100% of that file transferred successfully. Now, I'm gonna just stay in this directory, but I'm gonna SSH into this server. Uh, 192.168.10 dot five five and press enter and this is going to log us into that server via ssh boom and as you see i've probably got a couple updates on it or whatever that i need to do but i'm currently in the home directory of josh that's the default you know and that's specified by the tilde if you guys you know you guys should know that i specified by the tilde so if i ls this directory we should see that file.csv so bam that's a simple way of actually copying a file you know what i'm saying that's super dope and super easy to use 
now let's go down and ssh out of that server as you can see that's the name of the service apollo but let's ssh out of it and clear the screen but that's simply the easiest way to use scp now let's ls this directory again and what i want to do is uh, i'm gonna show you guys how to pull a file from the server because that's the pretty much the next you know way of actually using scp let's say you have some files on a remote server and you want to pull those down so what i'm gonna do is remove that file.csv because we have it on the server um and so i'm gonna remove it here locally and then copy it from the server so if we ls this directory again we'll see that that file.csv is gone so all we have to do is type scp and now we start with the location of the actual file that we want to copy which is on that remote server and so all we have to do is type 192.168.10.55 and then put the colon again we know where that file is located it's under our home directory and then josh and then we have to type in file dot c s v and now we want to copy that back to the directory that we had in here which was under my test directory so i'm just do the full uh path so you guys can see fully but let's say i want to copy it to the same directory i'm in i could easily do uh period and then forward slash and that'll specify to the command prompt that you want to copy that file into your current working directory but i'm gonna show you guys the full path just so you guys know you know ex that it's going to that directory so home josh and then we want to put it in that test directory and specify that forward slash saying that we want to put it within that directory so if we press enter uh it's gonna access for our password again to you know log into that server and it'll copy that file down now if we ls this directory you know we removed it because it wasn't here when we ls here you know earlier uh, if we ls this directory again boom we'll see that the file.csv file is there so we're good to go that's how you pull something from another server and it's essentially the same thing when it comes to uh, a directory uh, you just have to specify that directory and that's why i really honed in on putting those uh four slashes at the end of the actual directory that we want to copy something to because if you want to copy that full directory then you have to specify it without that forward slash otherwise it's going to copy all the files within it so let's say we want to copy this uh secure directory right here so sec dir so say we want to push that up to the server that whole directory so um all you have to do is type scp and then let's specify that directory which is uh the sec and actually i don't have to type that in but sec uh and then capital d i or boom we want to copy that directory and one thing i forgot to put in there is the dash or flag uh and so you have to put that in there uh for recursive so that's going to copy that directory as well as the files underneath that directory and let's say we want to push it back to that same server so 192.168.10.55 then colon and then four slash home uh four slash josh so we want to drop that uh, directory within the home directory of Josh on his remote system. So let's press enter and type in our password again and boom. And as you can see, it copied that full directory over there. So let's um, actually ls this uh, sec directory first because I want to make sure I'm showing you guys what's in that directory. So it says new file. Um, you know it's so in that directory it only has like one file so let's ssh to that server right fast and just make sure that it has the exact same thing so 192.168.10.55 press enter type in my password boom and now let's ssh or let's ls uh that sec directory because i know it's there 
uh, so let's ls that directory and as you can see it has that one file in there and actually it's ls the home directory so just to show you guys i know you guys seen it uh, by me being able to list, you know, the contents of sec directory that lets you know that that directory is up there. So it pushed the directory as well as the file underneath it, which was called new file. So good to go. You know what I'm saying? And that's essentially how you use SCP. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a very simple video. Uh, SCP is not that difficult to use. If you copy something, then you'll understand that this is not that difficult of a command to use because all it is is the copy command but secure so you can copy it over the network or copy it to a remote server uh in the cloud you know whatever so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it techie.